This is Blip Blocks. It's a synthesizer designed for children. The company behind it, Playtime Engineering, even goes so far as to call it a toy. And it certainly looks like one. It's all bright, glossy plastic with knobs and levers, big enough for the tiny hands of a child. Oh, and it's covered in tons of crazy blinking lights. But if you start digging a little bit deeper, you'll find out that it's more than just a plaything. So let's start with the basics. Under the hood is a digital synth engine capable of producing rich and downright bonkers sounds. But an oscillator alone doesn't make for a very interesting musical instrument. There's also an amp envelope, a pair of LFOs, a modulation envelope, and a low pass filter that take that raw sound of the oscillator and turn it into something far more compelling. But here's the thing, most of the controls and options have been streamlined or hidden to make it more approachable. For instance, you just hit this button in the middle to cycle through the various algorithms that combine oscillators and modulation schemes. In fact, you won't find the words cutoff or wave shape anywhere on the front panel, or any labels for that matter. There's not even a keyboard here. Instead, it comes preloaded with hundreds of melodies and sequences that it automatically cycles through, whether you like it or not. The idea here is to avoid the usual prescriptive approach to sound design and encourage experimentation, and that's largely in service of the target audience, children. Lipblocks is meant for kids as young as three, but I can tell you from experience, most kids that young wouldn't understand what an LFO does and nor would they care. But they can probably piece together that the blue knob makes things sound all wobbly and crazy. Of course, there's much more to do here than blindly turn knobs and hope for the best. The blip blocks is designed to grow with a child. Once they get past the turn knobs and push buttons randomly phase, maybe somewhere between five and eight years old, kids can start connecting the knobs to their specific functions and learn to follow the signal flow lines on the front. And if they need a little help, there's an online toolbox that spells out all the functions. Now here's where things get fun even for the adults in the room. The blip blocks has a number of hidden features. I won't run through all of them, but the two most exciting are the bonus waveform mode and the sequence off mode. The first of these options unlocks an unspecified number of additional sounds that the company deemed too crazy, while the latter turns off the relentless internal sequencer at which point you can hook up an external sequencer or a keyboard to the standard 5-pin MIDI DIN on the back. That means even as your child enters their teenage years, they can still get even more use out of the blip blocks as a real instrument, rather than just a source of unending cacophony. And once you play this thing with a real keyboard plugged into a decent amp, you realize it's not just a noisemaker. Yes, the blip blocks is shiny and made of plastic. Yes, it's explicitly designed for children, but that doesn't necessarily make it a toy. And honestly, at $189, it needs to be more than just a toy. That's more than most of Korg's Volca line, and you can even find real analog mono synths like the Monolog or Arturius Microbrute used for around that price. But those instruments can also be intimidating to a child. Blipblox's appeal is in its simplicity and sense of whimsy, and really, its only competition on that front is the Datto Duo, which takes a different approach to teaching synthesis. It puts more of the standard synth controls at their fingertips, and also encourages parents to play with their kids. But at this particular moment in time, they're kind of hard to find in the US, and cost over $400. And as much as I love my child, I'm not entirely sure he needs to own the most expensive synth in the house. Maybe after Dada gets himself that Moog he's been eyeing. As always, hit that subscribe button for all the latest tech news from Engadget, and if you want to get notified next time there's a video of my kid making a racket, hit the bell icon. Yeah.